Hi, I'm Pete Nigerian, class of 1986 and co-founder of Trade Monster. On the field and in the markets, there is no room for error. You need to be prepared, have a plan, focus when executing, and stay disciplined at all times. That's why we have built the Trade Monster platform to help investors become successful in the markets. Success doesn't come overnight. You build it brick by brick. My name's John O'Boyle. I'm on a visit from Middlesbrough to Minneapolis to watch my favourite college football team, the Minnesota Golden Gophers, play against UNLV on Thursday night. I first started watching American football about 30 years ago. At that time in Britain, we had a one hour Sunday night highlight show from the previous week's NFL games. Um, as a fan who was quite keen with American football, that wasn't enough, so I got quite involved in listening to American Forces Network radio that would broadcast from Germany. And occasionally, if a touchdown went in, I'd leap up in bed, the microphone socket had come out, and suddenly my mother and father would be awoken by this horrible mix of sounds going on at around about four o'clock in the morning. It took quite a bit of explaining. I'm the, the junior organiser at Middlesbrough Rugby Club, and we play in maroon and gold. Um, obviously our name starts with an M, so the initial affinity was to choose a team with the same colours and the, the same starting letter. But as time's gone on, particularly over the last couple of years, I found myself much closer to the programme. The key aspect for me choosing the Gophers is around about the fan base. Because I, I understand there's a saying where we talk about being Minnesota nice. Well, where I come from, nice isn't always the most positive word because nice has a bit of a connotation about, yeah, someone's nice. They're, they're also a, a, a little bit soft. These Gophers fans aren't soft. They're generous, they're welcoming. They're the kindest, most courteous people I've come across, but they're tough. is getting that thing across the 30. Set the offense up with field position, all right? Don't try to do your own thing and take it somewhere else. You trust it, you hit it, hit it with speed, it'll be there. Trust your players. I would be highly disappointed if we don't dominate the kicking game, period. I mean, I think we're that good. I think we're that, we have that much speed and that much coverage. I'm real excited about seeing what happens in our kicking game tonight. Not one of them did not have your motor running tonight. And your task, you've done all this work way back from Texas Tech. There's so many opportunities, and we're around the corner from that opportunity. And your task, part of the mission, is to go get your W. Big day today. Touchdowns on three. One, two, three. Touchdowns. Yeah. There's lots of things I'm looking forward to about game day. I'm looking forward to the build-up, the chance to experience tailgating at the University of Minnesota for the first time the chance to see the, the band in action, um, to go down to the stadium early. I love the way that the, the whole pre-game experience is orchestrated. Love watching the warm-ups and the, the players getting ready and then breaking down into positions. Desperately keen to see that opening kickoff and just the anticipation of the crowd and the way that the stadium's going to get behind the team and, and, and support them through all four quarters. It's a really nice experience to be able to bring my son to Minnesota with me. Um, he's a, an American football fan like I am. Um, and although we share the same love for the professional teams, he's actually an Oregon Ducks fan at the moment. I'm very hopeful that by the end of the visit, Nathan will be a fully fledged Golden Gophers fan. Because if not, let's be honest, it's a long swim home.
So it was myself, my wife, my daughter and my son Nathan. Um, we spent about a week in Las Vegas, had a wonderful time there. And I, I know for most golfers fans, probably the fact it went to a, a third over time, they might have thought, oh, it should have been a little bit more comfortable than this. But for, for a first time fan, being able to, to experience the tension if you know the, the, the action that was taking place, it, it was absolutely sensational. And of course, massively relieved to come away with the win again. I'm hoping this Thursday will be as exciting, but perhaps the score won't be quite as close. You gotta turn the switch. We're gonna be kicking off here in about 16 minutes. The switch has got to turn. When the switch turns, that means you come out and you play as physical and as hard and mentally smart as you possibly can. That's all you can ask at the end of the day. You've been taught, you've gone through practice, repetition. Now you just gotta go play. You owe that to yourselves and your teammates. You've done what we've asked you to do. Now you gotta go out and carry out the mission. And your task tonight is to go beat UNLV. For the first time in the short history of TCF Bank Stadium, the home team Golden Gophers will open their season with a game on their own campus in their own stadium. It's a hot late August night for college pigskin here in the Twin Cities. It's the University of Minnesota hosting the University of Nevada, Las Vegas in primetime Thursday night college football. Hawthorne to tee it up. We are ready to go. 2013 is underway. Quick pass is complete. That's the tight end. Jake Phillips, a first down inside the 40 to the 38. And another first down here for the running Rebels. Perry, Johnson, Ekpe, and Alex Keith up across the front four now as they get a fresh set in. Hand up front, a huge hole, and he is gone. Touchdown right up the middle, and UNLV has marched at 75 yards right down Minnesota's throat. Minnesota will take over with sophomore quarterback Philip Nelson getting career start number eight. The quick pass to Fritzy. He's got it to the 20, room to work to the 15, down to the 11-yard line. Chris Hawthorne will get his first crack at a 2013 field goal. The spot of the ball near the right hash. Snap is there, spot down, kick is up, and Hawthorne has put the Gophers on the board here in 2013. He's going to whip it again and again. Ata Mele, and a good hit, but it's caught. A gain of four. Brian Body Calhoun, the stop. Play action. Nelson has all kinds of room to run. He'll throw instead to Goodyear across the 40. 45 midfield and out of bounds to the 48. And boy, did they still play action there, Daryl. Nelson, he will keep it himself, and he's got a lot of room. 40, 35, off to the races. 20, 10, 5, and a touchdown. 48 yards. Philip Nelson, play action keeper. Touchdown, Minnesota Golden Gopher. Pistol set, carry to pass. Pressure coming, has to flush, and down he goes. Alex Keith gets the sack at the eight-yard line, and Minnesota wants a timeout. Jerry Kill in full sprint mode on the near sideline. 24 seconds to go, second quarter, Gophers down three. Nelson out of the pistol. Gets the snap, looking, flushed, rolling right, lobs it toward Williams, a diving catch, can he stay in? He gets touchdown! Minnesota Golden Gophers, red shirt freshman Max Williams. Minnesota's a 14-point favorite in this football game. They will go to the locker room leading by three and some momentum on the way to that locker room. 16-13. Now remember some of the key things we talked about. Turnovers. Defense needs to get takeaways. Offense, you need to take care of it. The foremost, we've got to be great in the kicking game. I mean great in the kicking game. We need to win the kicking game. So the Gophers get the ball to start here, Daryl Thompson, and uh, obviously it'd be uh, in their best interest to get down and put some more points on the board. Marcus Jones on the kick return, squirts three at the 30, 35-40, midfield, a man to beat, 30, 20, 10, touchdown, Minnesota Golden Gophers, 96 yards, no flag. Caleb Herring, the backup quarterback, the holder, this will be a 38-yard attempt. 
And it's blocked up front. The ball comes squirting up. It's batted forward. Marquez Shabazz has it on the run. A possible scoop and score down the sideline. Touchdown, Minnesota Golden Gophers. Marquez Shabazz scooping and taking it to the house. Here's Sherry to pass and again picked off. Picked off and the Gophers going the other way. Down the sideline, three and body Calhoun to the 20, the 10, touchdown, Minnesota Golden Gophers, 85 yards. Gophers could put 50 up for the first time in the Jerry Kill era with a touchdown here. 50 seconds to go. Leidner out of the pistol. He will hand off to James Gillum. No, he kept it and a touchdown. Mitch Leidner faked the handoff to Gillum, and Leidner goes in, and the Gophers have half a hundred. Leidner with his first touchdown for the University of Minnesota, and the Gophers are putting 50 on the board. That's a big deal. Jerry Kill and Bobby Houck shake out near midfield, and you can put it in the books. The Golden Gophers 51, UNLV 23. Hey!